Dear gentlemen of the bar with the brightly colored polo, I see your eyes are bored, and I've traveled the same sweet distraction as my own. No, no. Do not worry. I'm not upset at your casual interjection into the conversation that I had initiated. In fact, I feel quite the opposite. Let us toast to civility. See, we humans adapted far from any of the barbaric rituals called for in other animals. For example, take the bright exploding tail of the male peacock, which makes him easy prey for predators. Such reckless aesthetics. Well, how about the horrible violence seen in head-butting rams? Funny how they do not prize their intelligence when it is that which has made us the most superior of species. Take the silverback gorilla, who pounds his chest and display of power as one male for an entire troop, a good life for him, no doubt. We humans are a monogamous species, yes? Why should we fight over this lovely freckle of light here dancing in the bar when there are so many others to match with our symmetry? <laughs> we have no need for the wasteful antics of the bowery and songs of Orioles. What good is the awkward dance of the ostrich or the excessive preening of doves? The success of our species is always hinged on the female selection of higher evolutionary traits than you. What? I see you got me beat. I see how you flash that designer wallet. You are right. Women look for men capable of providing, and that shirt is tight against your skin to exhibit the health you must have worked so hard to attain. Again, you are correct. Such a vitality is essential to the survival of our species and ah, your intelligence. I see you make no hesitation to discuss your education and future ambition, good sir. Why should we fight you? I see you have me beat, not hold. No bitterness. Simply, the more you have to offer her than I, good sir, what do I have to offer? Words. Just words.